Hello everybody, welcome to Review A Day, episode number 19 for Sunday, August the 31st, 2008. Hello everybody, welcome to Review A Day, the daily video blog where I review a movie seven days a week. My name is Leland Brungart and thank you very much for joining me. And the movie I'm going to talk to you guys about today is a movie I just watched, I'm very excited about it. And it's a movie called Primer. Uh, it was a big, kind of a big hit at Sundance, I think the last year or the year before. It's an independent movie. It's, direct, it's written and directed by Shane Carruth. Um, he is also the main character. It's, it focuses on two people for most of the film. Uh, Shane Carruth and another guy named David Sullivan. And they're basically the two stars of this film. Uh, I'm going to try to explain what this film is about. But the plot is very complex. I highly recommend you see this film. But uh, it's kind of about these two young scientists. They he were they work with two of their guys in the basement, uh, not in the basement, but the garage. Uh, I think they make computer stuff of some kind. I don't really know what they're making there. Four really smart guys. Uh, the two main characters who are played by Shane Carruth and David Sullivan are start working on a project together. I don't know what they're intending to build at first. The movie, uh, the dialogue is very fast. and uh, But basically, for the first half hour of this movie, uh, they're making this really complex device, and it snowballs. And at some point in this film, they realize that they have essentially invented a device that can go back in time as long as it's been on for this certain amount of time. I don't want to get too much more into the plot because it gets really, really interesting. Um, I thought this movie was endlessly fascinating. I loved it. Um, this is one of those movies where you really have to put the laptop away and focus on the movie. You need to hang on every word they're saying because if you miss one scene, you can miss really important things. They don't spell it out for you. Uh, that much. There's a lot of dialogue, and the dialogue is incredibly important. I, if you if you if you get a chance to see this movie, make pay, make sure you're paying attention. Make sure you know who all the characters are, what their names are, their relationships to each other. This movie is incredibly unique and original. I really haven't seen a movie like this in a long time where I got incredibly excited about it, and uh, I, I just I can't say enough about it. The, the the script for this film is really smart and really well crafted. They do an amazing job at making kind of uh, time travel believable, and the way they they stumble upon uh, the time travel. I'm not a scientist, but to me it made sense. It was when I was going to school thinking about science. I always thought about it space and time travel and really cool ideas like that and then you you know you take biology and it's boring this was the kind of stuff that i always found so fascinating the kind of idea about time travel i'm a sucker for time travel i love doctor who but this is such a real version of that it feels so real in this film which i found very surprising considering it's about time travel um the time travel logic in this film holds up it makes sense uh, at no point in the film does anyone start to evaporate or fade away a la uh, Back to the Future or anything like that. Um, and like I said, this film feels very real. They make time travel... At the end of this movie, time travel seems very scary. Um, and time travel is kind of a frightening subject when you really think about it, which this movie does. And I loved that about it. I was, I was, I was kind of scared as this movie was playing out. I was like, what's going to happen to these guys? And I, I had never thought about time travel like that. I had never really thought how scary it would be if you could really go back in time just to this morning. You know, if I could just go back in time to waking up today. That's a very scary idea, and I loved that about it. Um, something that is, I think is worth noting is that this movie was shot on the cheap. This movie was made for about $7,000, I think is what I read online. Uh, and most of it went into film stock in producing the film. The film's shot on digital, so it kind of has that 28 days later look. Um, but this movie does not look cheap. Uh, the the director, uh, Shane Carruth, he's a damn fine director. He does the best he can with what he has in this film, which kind of takes place in a couple locations, is incredibly exciting to watch. It has a look. It has a style. I really liked it, and I really hope to see more films from him. Um, 
this film does take a lot of, uh, you have to pay a lot of attention to this film, and that's kind of tiring. Luckily, this movie is only 77 minutes, and so it's over before you even get the chance to be tired, and the shorter the movie, mwah, I, I adore movies that are over before I want them to be. Um, this movie is complicated in the best way possible. I, I just finished it 15 minutes ago or so, and once I'm done filming this, I'm going to go back into my TV room, and I'm going to watch it with the director's commentary, and I'm going to I'm going to show this film to people. I love it. Um, these are the kinds of movies that I, I eat up, and I'm, I'm, off, I'm actually going to give this movie a 5 out of 5. It is, uh, it's a great little independent film. I highly recommend it. It's unique. It's interesting. It's great. 5 out of 5. Highly recommend it. If you guys are enjoying my reviews, make sure and subscribe, and thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.